little made the noise. There. All right. Let me get a little coffee here, all right? All right. Don't worry, thanks, stay on. Thanks. Unless you want them off. No, no, I'm right. good. Good. Thanks for asking, at least. Yeah. Do you mind for smoke? Hold off on that for a moment. All right. You'll be going back up in a second. Oh, okay. Well, possibly. So, here in the show, uh, they asked me to talk to people who need it sometimes. Uh, I'm legitimately un, undiagnosed at that. I actually can feel and help people out. Yeah. Now, part of the reason why I was exhausted there was I could definitely feel someone's carrying something in the house. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> now, whether that's anger, depression, or worry, well, I brought it up to Mr. Judge there and I said, hey, might have to pull people aside, try to figure it out. And he said, why not? You know, mental health is a very big priority here. Uh, you no know, fish tank. We physically test you, but we don't want you guys driven to a point of actual insanity, you know? Yeah. We don't need a Jimmy, we don't need a John, we just have fun. Yeah. So has anything been bothering you lately? Anything uh, really getting to you? Honestly, I think the biggest thing was like the whole issue with Trish. Um, just that she's super snaky. All right. And we were cool, but then she I started know she turning. Had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she started turning on me out of nowhere. Like I did nothing yeah. to her, and she just started turning on me. Um, that kind of bothered me, but, I mean, I'm kind of used to it at this point. It's happened to me too many times. From what can you times. expect from my own record, right? Oh, yeah. No shit. But it's happened to me plenty of times in my life before this anyways. That dealt with people like that. So, that was, that was one thing that was kind of bothering me, but... And, and, and the whole thing with Frank, like, throwing crickets on me and shit. I think that was the night before you came. Yeah. I was, like, trapped in the doghouse and got the crickets thrown on me. And I, and I couldn't leave the doghouse. No way. Yeah, so, and that's, like, my, one of my biggest fears is, like, having bugs crawl on me in my sleep. So that was, like, pretty much what was happening there. And you literally just couldn't go to sleep at that point. I, yeah, I was, like, pretty much going schizo mode, like, freaking I would have just ate them. I mean, I was... Sugar dominance. <laughs> I was sitting there smashing them. That's why they were all dead right there when we were collecting them. Um, I mean... How does a Texas girl go get afraid of bugs? I know, right? But I just, it, it's something about those types of crickets. They look like spiders in a way, too. And they crawl. They just freak me out. Like, they're feeder crickets. They're nothing yeah, like that. Yeah. And I mean, like, just then, I was able to just go up and touch them and the, picking up the crickets and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just specifically when I'm in bed trying to sleep. I'm not relaxing if bugs are near me. Hmm? Actually. At least not bed bugs. Oh, yeah, no shit. But, but, like, spiders and stuff, I find it comforting. Yeah. I'm cool with, like, wolf spiders and stuff, but it's just only when, if they're in my bed while I'm trying to sleep, that's why I'm like, eh, I don't think I'll pass. I'm afraid of that. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. You got a fucking black widow sleeping with me in the bed? Cockroach Whoa. comes up, that cockroach is fucked. Whoa. Damn. Uh, that's, that's true. That is true. And the best part is, right, with spiders are venomous, not even for species, if you don't apply pressure to their body, mm -hmm. And you don't do anything to irritate them, they mm -hmm. leave you the fuck alone. That is true. They are really fast. Control. Yeah. Yeah, there was like a big huge garden spider that used to be on my window in the house I lived in. And it was like fucking big as my palm. And it would just sit there all day. And it had like, it it laid eggs and everything. Had a whole egg sack. I, lo I saw it lose a leg somehow. Like I went and checked on it the next day and it had a missing leg. Yeah. And I was like, I got oh, like a whole family of black widows that live on my outhouse. Ooh wee. Damn. That's, That's cool, sure. though. They are cool-looking spiders. It's dangerous, just, but um, I actually enjoy it. Yeah. It has no flies in that outhouse, and yet that thing is filled with the fridge so many often. Damn. Do you do you take psychedelics at all? Uh, just cactus. Oh, okay. Very rarely I'll do uh, mushrooms. Oh, nice. But it usually it's for me to get past some sort of mental blockage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that makes total sense. So, like, a few months ago, fucking, I started having dreams of my father. 
Mm-hmm. He'd be like, oh, I got some very important info to tell you, right? Well, the problem is he'd state that right at the end of the dream where a couple words later, he's turned to sand. Mm. So, yeah, do it with fucking two pounds. Oh, wow. It's all so fucking hard, dude. Damn. Damn. All right. Let me tell you. That day I can barely remember it, but I know it helped me get past a lot of shit. Oh, yeah. And that's what's so nice about those types of things. It's so, like, very healing. And it, some people it, it isn't, but for me at least it's extremely healing. Like, not it's only, a tool. It's a tool that can be used properly. Yeah, too. and it's natural, man. It, mm-hmm. it comes from the earth. But definitely, like, I only mention that with the psychedelics just because of the fact of, like, how you're at peace with the spiders and you don't care. And, like, you're glad that they're there for the sake of testing. Yeah, it's not the uh, psychedelics are for that. That, for me, I got this fucking ungodly curse where if I get severely sick, like, hospitalization level, a spider always hangs in my room for more than a few days. Whoa. And, uh, so, like, for me, it just became a source of comfort. Huh. If they're there, I know that flies aren't going to be there. Don't yeah. start to be showing up as much. Yeah. I can basically be myself. Damn. Hell yeah. That is a good way of looking. I'll never directly keep one as a pet, but if one happens to make my home its place, hey, you don't bite me, I won't bite you. Yeah, yeah, like, I won't, I won't fuck with you. Okay. That makes sense. That's how it was with the, my garden spider that was hanging out. Oh, yeah. But, I think, uh, really, the only thing that was kind of eating me up was, well, two things. It was the Trish thing, and that's still ongoing, but I'm at the point now where I just don't give a fuck with her, and, um, I don't feel threatened by her at all. Um. Well, you should. She's a fucking pushover. Like, literally, she had the opportunity today to prove she had some balls, and she didn't even attempt it. It's like, you don't gotta feel bad about it, like, at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, it's like, it's like, she's the one that will do it first, but then when it's given back to her, she can't take it. Yep. And be like, oh, yeah. She's like that rich fucking fat white kid who fucking autistic, doesn't pay attention. She needs to get humbled up. Yeah. I know that feeling. Well, I mean, I'm like a fucking poor Texan kid. That's, you know, I got the highest autistic score in here. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm <laughs> it's like, come on. Yeah. Like, I'm not afraid to do it. I don't go out. I don't socialize. And yet, I'm able to fight back like that. Like Exactly. You got some good quips today, too. Thanks. Wait. I just want to ask a couple more questions real quick, and then I got to pull someone else up. Yeah, yeah. So you're not considering doing anything drastic to hurt someone, right? No. No, not to you're hurt anybody. You're not looking no. to do something drastic to hurt yourself, right? No. Can you show me your wrist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know, like, Judge tells me, he told me the other day, he was like, no more puking for me. And, well, since you're, like, on the same sheet of music as them, uh, I think, like, a week ago, Jet pulled me down to the basement, and it wasn't for a confessional or anything. Yeah. And he was like, are you eating? And I was like, yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, I am. Yeah. Like, and he said it looked like I'd lost weight being in here, and I was like, I really don't think I have. I and I really don't think I mean, I have. I mean, but... I think you actually have. I think maybe you, you can still eat, but you slowed down from your habits because you have. So. From third, like, I've been watching, not religiously, but I've been watching since day one, and you were definitely a little bit more thicker back then. Whoa, really? Not like, like thick, but like, yeah, you yeah. had some more meat to you. But you definitely have lost, it looks like you lost a good maybe in person, about 10 to 15 pounds. Whoa, what the fuck? Damn. See, it's being in here and I'm focusing on this, that I'm not You're just so hyper-focused on everything else, you're not really focused on beating yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and even then, like, they they took our fucking food. Like, they took all our shit. So I was like, damn. And then I told Jet, I was like, yeah, like, if I could just get some milk for my coffee... That would be great. And then they did the milk challenge. <laughs> it's like, oh, thanks. Like, I got way too much milk, but thanks. Um, yeah. yeah, and Judge did tell me, like, kind of privately, he was like, stop puking. Like, stop making yourself puke. And I was like, okay, but when we're doing a challenge and we're forced to eat, I have to puke to keep eating. 
to win. Like, I, I will push myself to that limit yeah, to but win. There's, but there is a, a certain level of danger that comes with just throwing up. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. nothing that people don't typically see. Mm. But your stomach acid is like a legitimate acid. When you're puking, that whole process of it coming up is burning every yeah. inch. Oh, yeah, 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 so yeah, the bile and all when you're, that when shit. When you're making yourself... When you're making yourself puke to win, you're needlessly burning that passage, right? Yeah. When I do challenges like that, I don't try to force myself to do more than my body will handle because if I do that, I know I'm just going to be sick and be like shit. Yeah. Whereas if I take my own pace, stop when I'm done, oh, I enjoyed the process, but I didn't win. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? Yeah. I just, you know, and I, and I, I do understand what you're saying. I just, uh... I'm willing to push myself to that extremity that, yes, but and I understand to, it is. To, you just have to learn to have a level of respect for your body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Don't be afraid to be like, nah, this challenge ain't worth it. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, but I mean, if it's like elimination type shit, though, I'm Yeah, gonna... you're probably going to need to, but have they even eliminated anyone yet? Um, so the one challenge where I really puked bad was the hot dog, the triathlon thing. Um, yeah. They made us smoke cigarettes, eat a bunch of hot dogs, and then do CrossFit. That was for immunity. Um, but the people that were that lost didn't get any kind of elimination challenge. Like it wasn't for elimination. Yeah. Um I think Brian was voted out by the audience. Um there was a comedy sketch where it was like I'm an talking individual about the milk challenge though, because it wasn't that an elimination. Uh, I, I think it was just for money. Oh yeah, it was just for money. It was like first, second, and third. Because mm -hmm. I got like twenty five bucks. Um, the, they said the bed thing that we did, uh, two nights ago when Frank first got here, Yeah. they said that was an elimination challenge, but like, then they changed it because they realized that we couldn't fucking build it. I think it was just a joke because Frank mm -hmm. was like destroying everything. Yeah. They realized that. Yeah. Like it was impossible for us to build a bed. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, hey, the, uh, government insurance timing has been allotted here. <sighs> Uh, do me a favor, can you send Trish down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can trust you with not, you know, you won't like No, here we are, all good right. anonymity. Alright, thanks, man. Even though I'm a licensed professional, I still follow the code. Thanks, man. Yeah. Go ahead and send Trish down for me.